This is one of those games where you buckle your chin strap just a little bit tighter, nice and snug on the shoulder pads. Bring your lunch pail. This is tough, physical, Big Ten football. Let's preview Iowa, Illinois. These are two of the top three defenses in the Big Ten. And I bet, you, I bet you wouldn't guess who's number one. That's right, it's Brett Bielema's Illinois Fighting Illini. More specifically, Ryan Walters and what he, the job he has done on defense has been phenomenal. This defense is fantastic, just like Iowa's defense is fantastic. Iowa currently ranks third in the Big Ten in total defense. Of course, Iowa is first. You know what else they're first in? Rushing defense. And I think that's where I'm going to start this preview. Because if Iowa wants to have a good day offensively, right, they're not going to throw the ball, right? If they can't run it, they're definitely not going to throw it. So it starts with the running game for the University of Iowa. Can they get Caleb Johnson going? Can they get uh, LaShawn Williams and Gavin Williams going in the running game? No matter who it is, whether it's a combination of the three, Iowa needs to have a good day running the football. Let's look at what happened last week. What did Illinois do last week? Okay, Wisconsin and Iowa both Let's just say they don't have the offensive lines that they expect to have at their respective schools. Wisconsin's got much better talent in the backfield than Iowa did. And look what Illinois did to Wisconsin last week. They bottled, up, bottled them up and the Badgers got absolutely nothing. So if they can do that to Wisconsin, you got to think that they can do that um, to this Iowa running game. Illinois matches up really well um, in the rush defense. They also match up really well back in the secondary as well. You look at some of those guys, Devin Witherspoon and Sidney Brown and the studs that they have back there in that secondary. And Keegan Johnson still not going to go for the University of Iowa. So look at guys like Arlen Bruce, Nico Regani, Laporta at tight end. Are those guys that can separate from these types of pass defenders? I don't think so. I think Illinois has a big time advantage um, on defense. Let's go to when Illinois has the football, when the Illini are on offense. Okay. We know what this Iowa defense can do, and we know what they want to trap you into doing. They want to trap you into, a, into making mistakes for their defense to create turnovers, to, make, to score touchdowns on defense, to create shorter fields for their offense. That's how Iowa is successful. That's how Iowa wins. When you look at Illinois, you need to follow the, the blueprint that Michigan did last week. You need to be physical in the running game. Look, you might not get a lot right away, but you need to keep on grinding. You need to keep on going. Chase Brown, Illinois running back, leads the Big Ten in rushing yards this season. He, look, he might not pop one off right away against his Iowa defense, but keep it churning. Keep it going. Keep it going. You got to keep in the back of your mind. Our defense has the upper hand on Iowa's offense. Really? I honestly think if Illinois gets 17 points for the third quarter, that could be enough. Um, to win this football game. But Chase Brown needs to have a good day. I think that's a big thing. And what Michigan did is they ran the ball with Blake Corum. And really, they only had J.J. McCarthy make plays when they absolutely needed to. They kind of kept the ball out of the hands of the young quarterback. Look, and Tommy DeVito for Illinois, okay, outside of J.J. McCarthy, who's thrown zero interceptions this year, he's second in the Big Ten, just has thrown two interceptions this season. So Illinois has taken care of the football. Okay, that... Um, is one thing that's been very clear. And that's one thing that favors them right now against Iowa. Iowa revels in creating turnovers, in forcing turnovers, in creating, because their offense can't, you know, maybe they did it late in the game um, against Michigan, but man, most of the time, they can't go 80 yards, the 75 yards, whatever it be, they can't go down the field and score most of the time and score a touchdown. Hell, they can't even get in a field goal range um, at that point in time. So that's what Illinois... Um, needs to do. They need to make Iowa go the length of the field. They can't create short field opportunities for the Iowa Hawkeyes. The home field advantage for Illinois is going to be big in this one. They're trying to pack the stadium, trying to get as many people, uh, get as many members of the Orange Crush um, in there as possible. This game not being at Kinnick, big time advantage um, for Illinois there. But when I really look at this game, Iowa's inability to move the ball on offense and their lack of creativity on offense, I think plays right into Illinois' hands. Illinois is a disciplined team. Look, this is a Brett Bielema team. They're not gonna beat themselves. And this is a good, like, you know, Wisconsin, look, Wisconsin lost and they lost by a lot. They fired their coach after Illinois romped them. 
but we need to start saying Illinois is a good, possibly a really good football team. That defense, as I said, tops in the conference right now. This offense is this offense is what Iowa wants their offense to be. Look, they don't they don't blow any way with at the quarterback position. They've got a good solid running game, a decent offensive line, and solid to good wide receivers. Okay, I think Illinois and Iowa, it's probably going to be pretty close early on in this game. But I just don't see Iowa breaking through against this Illinois defense. I think Illinois is eventually, look, they've got good talent on the outside. Pat Bryant, I love him. I've said that multiple times on many different platforms. Um, Isaiah Williams and Brian Hightower, eventually. Look, it might not happen right away, but you got to stick with it. If you protect the football, Illinois is going to be just fine. We need to start talking that Illinois is a really good football team. And the job that Brett Bielema has done right now, currently, he's my front runner for Big Ten Coach of the Year. I want to hear what you guys have to think on this matchup. It's going to be tough. It's going to be physical. This game will not be for the faint of heart. Let me know your thought predictions in the comments below. And make sure you subscribe to Big Ten Ted. I'm Big Ten Ted, and we will see you in the next one.